Okay, sample problem 212. The turnbuckle, that's a turnbuckle, is tightened until the tension in this cable, AB, is 2.4 kilonewton. Determine the moment about O of the cable force acting on point A and the magnitude of this moment. Okay, so this force is causing a moment about point O. We need to determine, we need to calculate this moment. Alright, but the first thing we do, all we have is the magnitude of this tension that's pointing in that direction. We need to convert that into a vector. So we've done that before. We've got two points along this line of action. And I'm not going to go over that again. You get the position vector divided by the magnitude of that position vector. So how do you walk from A to B in, in the X direct uh, sorry, uh, in the X, Y, and Z directions? So it looks to me like you go point eight in the X from there, then you go then you go one point five, you go one point five in the Y direction, and you go minus two, minus two in the Z direction, and there's your position vector. Another way of doing it is you get your coordinates B. Okay, what are the coordinates for B? You just write them in there. BX, BY, BZ. You get the coordinates for A. AX, AY, AZ. And to get this position vector, you go BX minus AX in the, uh, times I. Then BY minus AY times J. BZ minus AZ. And you'll get your position vector divided by the magnitude so that you can get a unit vector, right? The unit vector in that direction, it has a magnitude of 1. We multiply it by the 2.4, and we get our tension in vector form, okay? So now we've got our force. But now we need, remember that the moment is R cross F. So we've got our F, that's this T vector. Now we need R. Remember this R is from the point of rotation to any point along the line of action of the force. And uh, the only two points that I can see that we could potentially use is point A and point B. So they chose ROA, this position vector, going from O to A. So I go... I go how far? In the x direction I go 1.6 and then I don't go anywhere in the y direction, there's no y component and then I go plus 2 in the z direction. So there is my position vector 1.6i, I go there 1.6 right, it's 1.6i plus uh, 2k that's my ROA. You could also have used Point B. Okay? So that would be 1.6, then plus this point 8 in the X, and then you would have gone 1.5 in the Y. Both these, that position vector and that position vector, will give you the same moment because it's from the point of rotation to any point along the line of action of the force. Actually, it would be a good exercise if you're serious about your studies. It would be a good exercise. Do Choose point B and find the position vector from O to B and also calculate the cross product to see if you get the same answer. And then we, we simply calculate the magnitude like that. Okay.